Good day, students. Today we're going to continue uh, building apps in Thunkable. We're going to build a magic eight ball app similar to the physical magical eight ball that you're used to where you shake it and it gives you an answer to some sort of uh, question that you may ask. Um, you're going to use a new concept today called lists. Try out some challenges. First thing we got to do is build our user interface. So you're using a template and I gave you some uh, images and some sounds to use. First thing we're going to need is an image component. Uh, because we want to get our eight ball out there so we'll go to this version of the magic eight ball and we want to set the size a little bit or so we'll go to absolute size height and width we set it at 200 next thing we want to do is add a label with directions for the user we'll put that under here or well it doesn't always go under there so we can go up in here flip it we want to put a little more space between the label and the eight ball so let's go all the way down to our margin we're going to add maybe 20 pixels there we want to rename this component so this is our uh, directions label and we're going to change the text how about uh, ask the magic eight ball a question then press the button or shake the phone Okay, so we've got this here. We wanted to uh, maybe look a little a little fancier, so we can go down to uh, border. We can give it a border. Which one do we give it a border to five? Does that do anything? Not yet. Hmm. Okay, let's maybe add some color to it and decide style solid. Okay, there we go. So now we got a solid border that's five pixels, and we got this cool purple color. Uh, we're going to need a couple more things here. We need an answer label. So we'll just drag out another label. We'll put it under here. And oh, we want it to go under. So we'll drag it down there. We want to make sure it's not, we put a little space between everything there. And we're actually not going to give this, uh, oh, okay. So we got to rename it. So this will be the answer label. And we don't actually need any text here. Um, what else we need? We need a button because some people are going to be able to test this on their phones through the app where you're going to be able to shake the phone and the phone should uh, speak the answer or give you an answer. But on the, just on the desktop version, if that's all we're doing, we're going to have to the event, which will get the magic eight ball to answer is a button. So we'll call this the answer button and we'll give it some sort of thing like give me an answer or something to that extent. Um, and we want to make sure that there's a little space between that once again and this invisible part where the label will go. Oh, is padding it? Yeah, padding's fine. Okay, so we got that going. And that's it. I think we got to add some components now. So we need a sound component. And we should set the sound to to DAW sound. You can find a sound for yourself. And something we're going to use a little later. We might as well just find it now is an accelerometer and what an accelerometer will let you do is when your phone shakes it's basically an event all right so that's the first part we have our user interface built now we're going to do some